I'm Jerry Matzak. This is um, the Indianapolis Quantified Self Meetup on June 7th, and I'm happy to talk a little bit about my experience with the Fitbit, um, but more emphasis on the basis, which is really the focus of this conversation. So um, I don't know how many people have seen the basis. You can see it in a couple different forms. This is my completely biffed basis um, that got broken, and this is probably one of the things I least like about the basis. It's a new product. It's kind of um, they're taking pretty seriously minimal viable product approach, and viable is somewhat subjective, I would say. Um, so I'll pass this around, and then this is the brand new one that I just got the other day, which addresses some of the problems with this one. What had happened with the one that was broken um, was that kind of clips into the actual device, and that clip broke at some point, and a guy I work with, Andy, gave me some awesome glue. I glued it back together, and it was wonderful. But then, this little clip broke. And I have got a replacement band, but I couldn't get the super glue out of this, and in my process, I ended up cracking this thing all together. So, <laughs> if Very anyone really wants to dig into this at like a sensor level, and un I mean, <laughs> I'll give it to you. Oh, I'll open it so, up. So, that's a broken one. Did the warranty cover that, or did you have to buy a new one? Well, um, once they glued it, the warranty was that, that's the issue. <laughs> So, part of what was good is when the band broke, they sent me a new band for free. Cool. But then, because I biffed the band by super gluing it, dug it out, and I'm going to send them an email letting them know what happened because I, I bought this one to replace it. And this is the newest one, and it, I think it's a lot sturdier and the band is a lot nicer. I'm on another, I cracked my Fitbit. Oh. Lip. Does anyone else crack that little thing at the end of theirs? I think I might have. Oh, Mine no, keep, I I, it's yet. like my third one. I have to keep e emailing them and sending a photo. What I've really destroyed is that bracelet that you wear at night. Oh, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, I think that thing will last as long. And let me get around the charger, which is this unique. Unique, weird device. Oh. I, I, love, I love the glue on <laughs> Hey, the glue was wonderful until I didn't need the glue anymore. Get in there. Definitely a DIY disaster. <laughs> <laughs> so what is this basis thing? So it was, uh, it was founded in 2011. Um, they started taking pre-orders in 2012. They started to broadly ship in 2013. Um, and this was a painful process as well. I had heard about the basis at a conference in DC, a health data palooza in May, and I originally tried to buy one, and it said it would notify me when they were available to ship, and they never did. I ended up through work knowing that they were shipping and ended up getting one in November. Um, so they sold to Intel in March for about $100 million. Uh, they run about 200 bucks, so not cheap um, for these things. Do a quick little video that will give you an overview of it. Hi, I'm Chris Proclades, Vice President of Devices at Basis. I'm here today to introduce Body IQ by Basis, the most advanced way to automatically detect your activities and your sleep and give you credit for all your activities. Body IQ leverages Basis's unique multi sensor system to automatically detect and display the times when you're walking, running, or biking and give you credit for the calories burned during those activities. It also powers Basis's unique way of automatically detecting when you fall asleep and when you wake up without the need for any manual mode setting. It starts at the band, where Body IQ offers real-time recognition for walking, running, or biking right at your wrist. Just get moving, you'll start getting credit right on your band. It's like an automatic stopwatch, no manual start or stop required. Once you're finished with an activity, you get daily cumulative totals for calories burned and duration for each type of activity. Get real-time feedback about how your morning bike commute or walk at lunch can help you hit your daily activity or caloric burn goals. You'll also find each of these in the Insights section of your online dashboard and iOS and Android app. As you see here, I automatically get credit for my walk, bike, and run, including duration and caloric burn, as well as my sleep. Only Basis automatically tracks all of these activities. You can see how walking, running, and biking fit into your plan for the day or the week. Body IQ enables you to explore the physiological impact of each of these activities in the detailed data view section of your online dashboard. In the details section, you can see your heart rate, calories burned, and exertion levels from perspiration or skin temperature for that morning run or walk. This is a level of fidelity you won't find with any other health tracking device. We also created two new habits, Run Club and Let's Ride to track your biking and your runs, and to keep you motivated. We recommend starting with a daily goal, like 20 minutes of running. Basis will automatically increase your weekly targets to keep you motivated 
and to improve your fitness. Body IQ, the most advanced way to recognize activity, sleep, and caloric burn. Visit mybasis.com to learn more. All right, so there's the marketing pitch, and it, and it does those things, right? I'm sold. <laughs> Uh, we'll go into a little deeper into it because I think there are some things that it does very well and some things that it doesn't do so well. Um, I think it holds a lot of promise. So how, how do it know what it's doing? So I think what is unique is it's, it's measuring biology and motion. So it's measuring your heart rate. It does an optical sensor on your wrist and it tells you what your heart rate is. Fairly, again, consistently, I can vouch for accuracy. Um, it measures your skin temperature to the tenth of a degree. It measures your per perspiration um, and um, calculates that from galvanic skin response. And it seems to have a pretty good 3D accelerator. So it's correlating all these sensors to give you, I think, a more robust picture of things like calories burned and how much exertion and all that sort of stuff, which, which is pretty cool. Um, it has this behavioral approach around habits. And I have to say, this, this isn't my favorite thing. So. Um, you have a number of different habits that it defaults you to. Um, wear it habits, step it up habit, move it are examples, afternoon nap, uh, lap, those are great. And you kind of unlock them based on how you gather points. And you gather points by meeting your goals, right? These little green things mean, oh, you've met your goal for the day. And if you've done, I think, five of these in a week, it gives you a booster five times that. I find this not super compelling. Um, because the score itself isn't, isn't the cool part to me. The cool, the cool part about it is, is the data. Um, I do think it might be kind of interesting um, if um, you could define your own habits. And they have all the data so that you could do this. You know, it'd be nice to be able to say, hey, I want to be able to take a walk between 6 and 7 a.m. Or I want to raise my heart rate four times a week to my target heart rate. It calculates based on it. It should be able to do that calculation. And right now, it's a little bit uh, it's a little constrained in that way. but. But I find it pretty fascinating that it has this data such that it can do it. Does it allow you to compete against other users? It does not. That's one of its limits. It doesn't have a social aspect like Fitbit. It's one of the things I've, I've come to really love about the Fitbit. Mm -hmm. um, but Basis does not have that yet. They have a they have kind of a stub for it. Um, so you think they're going to make more progress in the future? I, I think they are. But but uh, and some things they seem to be making reasonable progress from a speed perspective, and some things I would say they're a little slow on. So, you know, if you go to their main dashboard here. It's moved over. If you go to there. While you're doing that, I will say that um, I worked on a project, I worked with Jerry. And we worked on a, I worked on a project where we were trying to collect this kind of data and allow users to input it into a kind of a common database. And um, BASIS did not have any kind of export at all. And when I was digging deeper into the forums, you know, mm -hmm. asking, they seemed kind of anti-sharing your data. Hmm. You know, hmm. there, there's kind of a movement of give us our damn data. Yeah. And uh, they're like, you know, it's complicated. We don't want to give you the raw data because we want to help you understand your data. So, I, Well, why can't you do both? Exactly. Yeah. Well, I, I think there's some other reason because I looked at those forums too and, and so people are bashing them pretty heavily and they should. Where's your API? Where's your export? And eventually they're saying, look, we've learned from mistakes in the past about announcing too soon, but this is close to a year now yeah. um, and they have not yet done it. now. They've been acquired by Intel, or they working with a, a Samsung Intel or an Apple Intel, who, who knows? But it's one of the limitations. There are some hacks, um, but that's that's actually one of the one of the biggest drawbacks that I, I have. Put together any sort of scraping thing. Yeah, yeah, there's some. I think there's some Python scripts or something out there too that you can hack into it. But I, I haven't done that. Dave Park is going to do it someday. They're, with the Samsung and Apple stuff, they're going to have to do. Have to they will, do. or else they're going to. It's like one of my conclusions. There's a window of opportunity here, and there. Yeah. It seems so, like market pressure is going to force them to. It is. Open they will, and, and they said they're going to sometime, but they just—it's it, been like long enough, right? How how hard could it be to dump this stuff into CSV for God's sakes? And, yeah, right. well, the people who like this <laughs> yeah. sort of thing like to have it. Right. Yeah. yeah, and it doesn't—it doesn't matter how raw it is. Yeah. We'll figure it out. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and use that excuse when you're a little company that yeah. we don't have the time; it's too complicated. Yeah. When you're owned by Intel, you really can't yeah. use that excuse. Yeah. So, so social. This is the limit of their social right now, right? Connect to Facebook. That's pretty. 
pretty late. What does that do uh, when you connect to Facebook? I think it just means it's going to post to Facebook. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've seen that. I, I don't think it's anything okay. more than that. Yeah. I haven't done it because I don't like to post Facebook a lot. So anyway, um, dangerous. So we talked about so we talked about maybe some limitations, but this is what's exceptionally cool about it: the level of detail in the data and the ability to kind of dig into it is is really pretty remarkable. And I'll move now to some live data or to, to show you the inner level of interactivity. Um, so this is, um, let's see if I can make it as big as possible, so it'll be, you know, probably, probably not good enough there. Alright, so you're able to kind of decide your, your time period pretty easily. Um, it does measure heart rate, steps calories, and again, sort of a nice interactive way to do that, skin temperature, perspiration, um, and obviously, uh, you know, whether you're sleeping or awake, you, and, and when you sort of look at any one of these little sort of points, you get really, really, really granular data, right? This is I've, um, this, this epic, if you will, of activity is my average skin temperature is 89.6, uh, my uh, perspiration level is 11.9, didn't, didn't capture my beats per minute there. This one it did, 105 beats per minute. Um, again, so, so it's, it's pretty interesting to see this data. What you can't do is see it longitudinally, which is irritating as heck. Um, so in my case, I've ramped up my step activity significantly, and my, my average heart rate has dropped significantly. And I'd love to be able to look at that over time and say, well, here's when I started the slow carb diet, and here's when I started really aggressively um, starting to manage my step activity. And, but it doesn't let you do that again, and, it, and you see the data here, and you know it's possible. Right? Right. There's all kind of cool stuff you could do. Um, so the, the sensing technology is really what is unique to them, and they're still emerging, I think, in the providing the data to people to let them do what's necessary. The reporting. Yeah. Right. Although this 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 interface is awful cool. I like it. Um, it's you know one day at a time. How does it do on, uh, when you mentioned part of it already, it seems to be fairly accurate. How does it do on like sleep? That's, I'll show you the sleep stuff, which I think the, I think the sleep stuff is really, really cool. Now is the sleep stuff, do you push a button or does it just figure no. it out? No, it's seamless, right? So it's oh, nice. sort of, it's, I've even like dozed off the, on, on the couch with my cat, you know, <laughs> one of those cat sleeps. Oh. And, uh, and like, it'll, it'll yeah. say for, now. <laughs> for three minutes you were at this level of sleep and it was either light, REM, or deep. So you can um, see a whole timeline. You can see a whole timeline of the night. It gives you this sort of calculated score, which is, again, insightful as you look across various days. But you'd love to correlate it with stuff right away. Well, I, I had an extremely stressful day here. Or I, uh, I, uh, I fell off the eating wagon here, and therefore my sleep was effective. It's hard to correlate it because you can't leverage the, the data in, integrated with other stuff. Now, do, they, do they tell you how they're basing that information? I mean, it's a proprietary thing, so they they um they, they I mean they're gathering a lot of bits of data. They are. They're, they're obviously gathering. not just using one. That's like correct. Movement it, it is correlated with all the sensors, the biological sensor data and the we'll um, that. the activity <laughs> data. Okay, yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah, that's pretty cool. if, if you sit and you watch a movie in the afternoon and say it's a relaxing movie, yeah. does it show you asleep? Or, oh, well, you know? I, I found that it will tell when I actually doze off. That was, the, that was okay. sort of the example. But I mean, you don't get false positives. Yeah, I have not got false positives. Oh, I've got, okay. I was it's got to be wow. combining motion with Yeah, it's got to be doing all the things surprising. Together. I was surprised how accurate it was. You mm -hmm. know, I was like, I think it was Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., right? And I, <laughs> I zoned out for, you know, two and a half minutes and it came back and it said, oh, you had a... Well, your skin resistance goes down as you get yeah. more relaxed. Yeah, and it does some smart things. For example, in this case, it says, um, "Here for the this is, uh, yeah. join us." Yep, want to find yourself meet it? Come on. <laughs> so this this saw uh, apparently it saw that I was awoke um, for a while and it, I slept at three nineteen for three hours, but it saw there were sort of two epics that are near it. If I want to combine those, I just hit that, and I saw my sleep score was this was seventeen toss and turns interruptions. That, that is nice. It's pretty, like that pretty fascinating. Yeah. That's that's cool. Cool. My problem with the Fitbit is I have it on me all the time. I forget to push the damn button at night. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, that so was, I may I have like that. one or two yeah. days at most. Yeah. But you wouldn't think it'd be that hard, but. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you, um, can you look at the sleep data overlaid with the 
No. You can't, so you can't anything. You can't kind of look at it it's, and kind of try to figure out what the they're... That's okay. the most frustrating thing about that it. That would um, be annoying. But it's still cool. You can dig yeah. into this and think, wow, that's... The, you know, I can... Yeah, they want to keep their I can talk back for the next few days. I slept pretty well then, and this is... I had a nap in the afternoon, apparently, for about 121 minutes that Saturday. Well, there's that. You know, it's... Very okay, cool. It's that's pretty it. cool to be able to, you know... And if this is not a great sleep night here, sixty percent. I toss and turn a lot. I'd like to be able to say I like to, be able to match this up with something that says why that why that might happen. Right. Mm -hmm. What's your average sleep score? My it do, doesn't do an average for me, but it's it's okay. usually pretty good. I mean, it's in the eighties or nineties, which oh, I think okay. is pretty good. Um, it's not it's not a problem I have. So it doesn't do any aggregate thing either. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see like yeah. if you could compare what your day is like and then what your sleep is like and the yeah. activity level and if that makes a difference for Exactly. You. These are the th so, so what's nice is you start looking at this and you want to do these things, right? Yeah. You're like, wow, this is cool. Like I, believe the these, I trust this sensor. I trust this biology plus movement thing together. But man, I just, I'm, I'm, you know, you, I find I've, I've spent hours digging through this trying to manually do it. And it, you, you get some level of satisfaction for it, but I'd love to be able to set up a dashboard or something that lets you just bring it together. And yeah. it's, it's all there. It's just... Have Let's letter. send them a sternly worded letter from our meetup group. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> so, um, the other thing they provide is this insight table. And I, I, I will share that this is less um, less cool to me. This is almost, I always think of it as a system log of all the stuff it's been doing. And it sort of summarizes your results for a week. And you made your afternoon lap, and here's the points. Again, the points to me have meant nothing. You made it and move it, you made it and don't be a sitter, you made it and wear it, you're having a good week in your afternoon lab, you had this 31 minutes of walk and burn this many calories with this many steps from here to here. So again, I, I don't spend a lot of time with, at this level. Um, some people may. Um, can, does it export raw data so that you does can... Not. Yeah. It does not. It does not today. Um, so it's... Mm -hmm. They will. They, they, they've okay. simply got to. Um, and they claim they will, but... Again, in their forums, it's been, people are getting kind of ticked off. The natives are restless. The natives are restless. <laughs> they have this activity pattern as well, which... Go back to the cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's no. not, you probably saw Sid. <laughs> that, that cat on my screen. Yeah. Yeah. He rules. Um, they have this patterns, which I think is less insightful. It's just kind of a heat map of all these things. So I'm going to do it over here where the, you can see the data a little bit better. I haven't found this particularly. Uh, I haven't synced all day yet, but this is a kind of. And you can see a map by calories over days um, over the course of hours. Um, you can look at your calories or your heart rate. It's slow today. So, um, again, for me, I, I have not found this extremely insightful. I would much rather have the data behind this so that it could create something that is insightful for me. That's what we've been talking about. talked about these insights. Um, we talked a little bit about the sleep, um, which I which I do think is really cool. Um, I, I wish more than anything they had the ability to even these longitudinal views of things. You know, for me, I December fourth, my average heart was 83 beats per minute. Now it's down pretty significantly. I mean, it's this is somewhat inaccurate, but that's significant. I like to be able to say, well, I'd like to chart that over time, and I like to match that with my average steps or. You know, if I was a burn of calories, or if I were tracking manually what I'm eating, how that's happened. Um, so um, I can't believe it's going to be too much longer before they do this, or they're going to they're going to lose a window of opportunity. Mm -hmm. Unless Intel, so Intel could have also bought it for the sensors, and, and Intel could do something else with it. Who, who knows? They claim Intel claims they're going to maintain the Fitbit Basis One device itself. Um, but we we shall see. 
What do I love? Meh and feh on this stuff. Um, so um, I love the sensors part of it. The biology and motion part of it combined, I think, is providing unique data and insight that I find really, really valuable. Um, the activity details that we saw, I love that. Sleep details that we saw, I love that. The interactivity of those views is pretty cool. And I love the fact that it um, seamlessly will switch modes. Right, the notion of you don't have to hit something if you're sleeping. It, it, how do it know it knows? Um, and I really, really, really like that. Things that are, um, to me, there, and I can take them or leave them, this whole habits, behavioral model thing um, isn't that compelling to me. I'd rather have the raw data and be able to identify the habits that I want to um, track or measure in some kind of way. I don't think it hurts anything. The look and comfort of it, it's a little bit bulky. It's a watch. Um, they're getting better on their band. Um, I've come kind of used to it. It doesn't bother me. You're allowed, it's uh, semi-water resistant, or I guess it's water resistant, which means you can shower with it if you choose. I have not gone that route. It just feels weird to do it. Um, but but they, don't scuba dive with it. Don't scuba dive with it. You know, don't, don't do any of that. Um, the charge, and we've, uh, I don't know if you want to pass that back around for folks who didn't get a chance to see it. Um, but the charge lasts about three days, which isn't super bad. Um, I'd like to see it be better. Um, the device, device interface itself, both the buttons that you use um, to see these things, and um, the auto light motion, I think, is a little bit weak. So what, what happens if it's on your watch and you want to look at your watch, you have to flip it, and it's supposed to be smart <laughs> enough to light up so you can see it. It seems to work like three quarters of the time. And of course, the quarter of the time that it doesn't work is really irritating. I like that. It always looks cool during the meetings, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right. You look like you're, you know, you're OCD. So. Um, the things that are, that, that they really. So, um, what they really need to work on, um, they really need to work on the craftsmanship um, of the, the um, device. I think it's working, they've, they've improved. This latest one that I just got has metal connectors to the band versus just plastic. It's better, how long it will last, I don't know. Um, the charger itself is kind of awkward. Uh, I don't know why they just can't use a mini USB to plug it in and go, and you could use multiple, use, but, but you got it, you know, there have been several times at work, I'd go looking for Quinn and say, Quinn, I'm dying in here, do you, there's a million mini USB things out there, but there's, I don't know any other dongles like that to charge. Um, there is no data export. There is no public API. There is an API, it's not public. You don't have any app or device integration yet. Um, nothing with an ARIA, nothing with a RunKeeper, nothing with Lose It, nothing with any of the ones that you know, we might use. There's no social and there's no longitudinal views. Um, so that, all of that being said, um, I still really like it. I'm actually pretty pleased with it all told. I, I understand it's uh, taking a minimal viable product approach. I see the uniqueness of the sensor technology um, leveraged and correlated the way it is. Um, sort of capturing biology and capturing motion um, and then correlating that to provide useful information. I really got to get going on this API and integration piece. Um, it's, it's a window of opportunity, they're going to lose it. And, and, and frankly, I, I actually wear my basis in Fitbit all the time. And both of them are past the turnaround test. You guys heard about this turnaround test. It's the, it's the notion of, uh, hey, if you left these things and you're driving to work, would you turn around and go back and get them? Oh, okay. And that was sort of, a, to some degree, I think, a litmus test for when cell phones, uh, when smartphones became like the thing. Yeah. And, and for me, they're both that. And I've done that. Well, I only work like, I only live like seven minutes from work. But I think I would do it anyway. I feel naked without both of those devices. <laughs> my problem is, like, because I just carry my Fitbit in my pocket, sometimes I forget to put it there, and I don't know the whole day yeah, that I've done yeah, that. Right. And I'm like, no, my steps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, have, you, have you looked at the, just, Bought the, the, the website and the basis and look to see if the numbers yeah so track. Um, the uh, um, the numbers don't track exactly and for whatever reason this bit Fitbit gives me more credit for steps than the basis right. does <laughs> so I love the Fitbit <laughs> how often do you go to the restroom because I think if it's in your pocket yeah, yeah. you're pulling your pants up pulling them back up. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm hoping that I'm not creating a statistical significant <laughs> significance based on that alone, but I'll... I'll <laughs> I wonder about that sometimes. Uh, but it is, I, I find that, for example, over the of a course of 10,000 steps, mm -hmm. um, roughly, if this reads 10,000, the basis will read 92. So it's, okay. it's or so, 93 or 94, or 90, it's depending. It's pretty close. It's, it's kind of okay. close, but it's still significant. You know, I could, uh, sure. I could, I, there are days where I get my 10,000 steps here, and I feel good, and, but I didn't get it on, um, I didn't meet my 10,000 step habit. On Do you the, think there might be, like, a conspiracy here to get you to exercise more. And, and, and actually, so that is good, right? <laughs> so, so actually, when I'm on a treadmill, it's nice because I have my watch here, and so I'm always looking at that, right? I can see that, and um, that means I have some assuredness that I'm getting what I need here. Yeah. If it were the other way around, I wouldn't have that assurance. So, um, I, I still, I still like it. Um, for me, um, I, I am enjoying the best of two worlds. I'm not sure it's the best of all worlds yet because I think both of these have some way to go. But the, the apps and the integration, the API associated with the basis or with the Fitbit is pretty cool. Right? And you have a lot of control over the type of views you see and the social element for me has become significant. I, I'm tracking against people kind of every day. Where am I on the leaderboard? And Tyler's in France and he's getting 120,000 steps in. That ticks me off and I better walk a little more. Right? Um, how many people do you have are there on Fitbit you actually do? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I've, uh, yeah. I haven't done that yet. So. The people? Yeah, I've yeah, got Will and Dave on there. <laughs> so you do have one person there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. <laughs> just add a few in. <laughs> so that plus the, you know, the sensors and the, I, I'm liking it, so. Because you know I need to feed everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna have to quit my job and walk all day. <laughs> well, it's interesting. So um, two people you're competing with. Yeah. So you're seeing institutions start to leverage this stuff. Life Lifetime Fitness had a Fitbit challenge, oh. right? Mm -hmm. Where they actually um, had people at Lifetime Fitness sign up for the challenge, and you're competing against people, you know, um, USA wide anyway, around steps and various prizes and rewards that they would offer. So the notion of having prices. that. It's an incentive to put your Fitbit in a blender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Strap it to the cat, see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> or the dog. That's right. That's right. Throw some cat dip and you're, you're good. <laughs> They're probably too soft of walkers, actually, to sit off. Yeah, yeah. That's an interesting experiment. There's got to be some pet. There's a, there's a pet bit somewhere in the future, I'm sure. <laughs> Well, I mean, your mom should be forced to have one for her cat. The poor thing is like probably 20 pounds by now. He looks like he has giant tumors. Oh. He's, and it, she's like, hi, it just eats. I'm like, measure his food. <laughs> so, so that's what I had. You know, I'm happy to chat. Any questions? Very cool. Well, I'm sold on the basis. How much did you say it was again? 200 bucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Christmas yeah. list. Yeah, yeah, I'd wait, you know, and, and by Christmas time, Samsung and Apple are both going to have their watches out. Yeah. It's not an outlandish um, price, though, for a few yeah. No, it's right. Not, well, I mean, especially considering that I don't get as much out of my Fitbit because I forget to press the button. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to have more consistent data that results in improvements in my sleep habits and sleep hygiene, then 200 bucks is absolutely worth it. Yeah. Worth being put off by the price, I'm a little put off by the reporting. Right? Yeah. 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 Or but, they don't have to get the, the reporting right if they integrate the with other stuff. They got it right. 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 So yeah. I, I think it's got to come. It's, it's got to. Yeah. And someone has to say this. It needs to come in multiple colors. Well, it's starting to, but it's been pretty weak. It comes in like white and black. I no. guess those, those, those are really not are colors. colors. That is so. light and absence of light. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they need to work on their aesthetics. <laughs> Have you yeah. guys, with the bases, have you had any problems syncing it with your computer? I bought one a, a few weeks ago, and I never get it synced, so I'm sending it back and getting another mm. one. But really? it, I'm just curious if it's been flaky or if you've had good results. I've had good results, but it's, so, so um, actually I'll do a sync now and show you guys how it works. I don't know if I can. Good um, results as long as you remember that it's not wireless. Yeah. Well, it is wireless. It'll, okay. it'll, do, it'll do Bluetooth to my phone, which yeah, I guess it's going to be hard to show unless we have one of those dongles where I can throw them. Yeah. Okay. Well, but, uh, I'll have to work on that. I'll show, show, show you how it's. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah, and I, I was not doing the wire wash. I was trying to do it directly to the PC. Yeah, and it, it, it does it to that too. Yeah. I mean, I could show you that. Oh, you know, I was just curious. Um, yeah, problems with that. I have it, but it, but here's how it uh, kind of works. Like that. Now that's a little bit clumsy too. It takes a little longer than you'd like. Sure. Put this thing, and it's going to transfer it, so and it'll read the one on the upload it right there. there. It'll process it. This one? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's so perfect. Jerry, one of the things you <laughs> were saying about the basis is that it is unique mm -hmm. in the, its sensor loadout. Yep. Is that just compared to the Fitbit, or are you comparing it to like body media devices as well, or? It is, uh, ask your, let, let me finish this and then I'll come sure. back to your questions. You have to trigger it. You have to hit this thing twice. So double click it. And, and then, how yeah. long can you go without syncing? It's about four days and then I'll tell you it's full. Okay. Uh, okay. That, that's what it seems to me. So mm -hmm. your question was well, I'm just, on I mean, the uniqueness? You, you mentioned about yeah. the uniqueness of the sensor loadout. Yeah. And, I, and obviously the Fitbit style devices don't have like the gut line response yeah. on that. Yeah. Um, but like the, the body media armband mm -hmm. has a galvanic sensor, and I, do you have any experience there comparatively? Uh, I don't have any comparatively. Um, okay. uh, the reason that I that I do like it, it, it is um, so this is, so it is useful to watch. Even that is like real, right? It's a, I don't, it's, it's a, just a normal accessory. Okay. Um, and to be able to have the sort of the normal accessory, and then also be able to do some of that other stuff. And I, I think, if I remember, if I, I haven't used the, the band, but I think it's a little less obtrusive as well. I mean, it right, really is, the armband is kind of yeah, big, I mean, bulky plastic, yeah, yeah. kind of uh, house arrest kind of deal. Right. So this is almost like a seamless, passive way of doing it. Right. I mean, I really right. do feel like I'm just wearing a watch, a little, a, a bit bulky one. Okay. But that, I've got used to that pretty quickly. Is the uh, the website the the user experience a free experience or is it? Do you have to have a membership to access your data? Um, you, I'll show you what it is. So it's it's free to buy something there. Okay. Um, but um, we'll log out. But you'll you'll go quickly into marketing world, right? And there's some videos and things. And let's go back home. I guess com comparing it to what I know about the body media, is there's a monthly subscription fee to uh, access your data. No, all the all the the access to the data um, through the website is free. Okay. Right. There's no charge. You do have to, you know, you'll. That'd be a pretty hard sell. Yeah. 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 You pair you pair Bluetooth here. You plug in here. Right. Um, export and and to pass. When you charge, <laughs> what you say for it. Yeah. yeah. Right. I yeah. sometimes get weird errors, <laughs> but it seems to always pass through when I do the sync through them. Oh. Okay. Almost anyone that has these web things, they will eventually offer up a premium service because the investors will say we need more revenue. And, yeah. Yeah, and Fitbit has something like that. We haven't they found do. that it was really yeah. worth it for us. It didn't look like there was anything that. Nothing that valuable. Yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what Intel does with it because I think Intel. So Intel was part of the original group that funded them initially um, before they were bought. So Intel's been in this for a while, and I was struck by how quickly after they began doing general shipping last November that Intel bought them in March this year. So that's what, five months after they really started shipping this thing. So Intel has some plan in mind for it. Um, and I, I wonder if it's not about the sensor technologies. You read up on these dudes who founded the company. They've been working on these sensor, um, the sensor activity and the, how you can correlate that information and present it. They've been looking at that for like a decade. Um, and I think maybe Intel thinks there's, there's something to it. It probably knows that there are these platform plays being made around health and um, the 
So the, the, I think this device is the first look into what these sensors will do. Is that part of the reason that they don't want to show the raw data, you think? Is uh, it's to protect possible. to that yeah. proprietary map behind presenting, you know? Yeah, except you think if the sensors are the power and the information is the power, right? You, you can't get that without these sensors. Unless they're thinking somehow people could reverse engineer it by looking at the data. That seems like a bit of a stretch. But maybe. You'd think they want the data to be shown because if the data is if the data is so cool and these sensors are so cool, people, many people will buy if they can integrate them with all these other things. I also wonder if there are some patent spaces mm -hmm. in here that are that are interesting because you know I, the, the habit thing is just a little weird, and I wonder if they couldn't directly just do what Fitbit or some of these others did, based on sort of patented ways of looking at data. I, I don't know if that's the case or not, but I speculate about it because the habit part seems kind of forced and awkward to me, um, versus just give me the data and let me see it in multiple ways. I think that, that keeps them unique in the space, but I'm not sure it's super, super, it hasn't been super, super valuable to me. Cool. Yeah, interesting. Thank you, Jerry. <coughs> 15 months ago, um, I'd read an article about it and I was pretty interested in it, so I went and buy it, it wasn't available or whatever. And so I signed up to be on their list uh, to get invited to buy it mm -hmm. when it became available. And it seemed like it, it, you know, it was very limited availability. And then um, just yesterday, since, since the one I bought from Amazon didn't work, I bought one at uh, Best Buy. They actually had them in stock. So mm -hmm. it seems like maybe they're, they're ramping up the availability maybe like the engineering behind the, the API or whatever, it's, I mean, it's just going to take some time. Yeah. I, I speculate the same thing. I think they got beat up pretty bad because I, I did what you did about sort of wanting to pre-order one and I did that in I think it was May of last year and they never even notified me when it was shipping and yet and here it was like November before they started shipping. That's too long. I mean if you're going to tell people that you have this thing and you're advertising it and you're making a buzz about it. Uh, if it's a month or two, I can, I can live with that. But if it's five, six, seven months, um, and I think, they're, they're take, I think they, they hint at learning from past experience when they talk about their data export and API. Um, and I wonder if it's not that. However, but at the same time, I mean, simple CSV dump or mm -hmm. any kind of dump, you don't need a sophisticated, you know, how sophisticated do you need in, right. uh, of an API to do that? Not, not very. It's hard to know whether it's about capability and delivery or whether it's about strategically around how they're positioning the sensors in the device and now Intel's suite of products. That's, and it's frustrating not to know that, right? Because would I have shelled out another 200 bucks for this after I foobarred the other one? I don't, if I, if I believed I was never going to be able to do some of those things, I don't know. It would affect my decision. So. Yeah. I don't know if anybody's gone shopping for these kind of things, you know. Well, shopping online is pretty easy to do, but um, at Best Buy and Castleton yesterday, I was impressed with the number of choices for these kind of devices that they have, you know, on display and in stock and stuff. And uh, I think they had one from LG, and they had the Samsung watch and stuff. Some of the newer stuff really looks aesthetically really cool. Mm -hmm. I know there are a couple companies that are, uh, and I've, I've, I thought this was going to be the case, that are actually starting to talk about how to make these things like jewelry, right? Make them accessories, make them, you know, make them in many colors so that they're appealing in other ways um, and to other people besides the, the QS crowd and the, the data geeks. Um, Have you seen the new, the newer Samsung one? They have uh, over at the Best Buy, and it's pretty, it's actually, fairly narrow. It's about the width of the band that you have there and mm -hmm. it goes and it's, it's not too tall up but it's uh, it's an OLED it's color and everything. Oh it's and a I, smart watch though right? It's doing things like getting your... Yeah it's talking to the phone and everything too. Yeah, it's doing tell things too. Tracking. 
What? What's it tracking? I think it's it's not doing the galvanic stuff and everything. It's mostly to this. It, is it stuff. tracking motion though specifically? I think it's tracking. So I, I thought it was more about you know emails, texts, and. I think it does the motion too. I think it was part of that health thing that they announced okay. you know a month ago or something. But it actually works. I mean, they had their first Samsung one, which is a, it was big and bulky like that. Mm -hmm. and I don't think anyone bought it. And this one actually looks second try looks better, but I, I suspect that. Uh, these things are going to improve significantly. Yeah, I mean, we're pressure. still very early, and, and there's going to be a lot more. Mm -hmm. Fitbit's going to be bought by someone, I think. I don't, I don't know that they have any, enough that's unique. I mean, right now their unique is that they integrate with everything, I think, mm -hmm. and they're reliable and reasonably priced. But I just wonder. Fairly well known too. What, what's that? Yeah, Actually, they're fairly well known. They are right. That's a brand name. Right. right. They've, they've got the. <laughs> yeah, they've they've yeah. got I think biggest market share. I think Basis has a seven percent market share. Um, as of March, so still not a huge slice, but. Is it known what the Apple Watch will be? Will it have sensors? Well, they, they still haven't announced the Apple Watch, have yeah. they? I just no. thought I read something the other day about it. People keep well, going. Well, they announced the new operating system, right? Yeah, they announced the new, yeah, new operating system. They announced the new APIs for tracking all this QS stuff, but they haven't said exactly what the watch will track. But it's supposed to be out in the fall. So well, but they haven't even said that, right? <coughs> it's, it's all rumor. Well, that's when the, all the new stuff, the new yeah. APIs and everything are going to be available in the fall. So you figure if their health kit APIs are going to be available in the fall. What? Here's the Useless API. API, yeah, 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 exactly. So it probably means the watch will come out in the fall too. So. Probably. But I think Apple's, that we would talk about Apple's going to produce a, uh, you know, a large screen TV for the past yeah. two or three years yeah. too. And that's they, never happened. They do things when they just want to do yeah. it. I don't know anyone else's schedule. So. Go home, Apple, you're drunk. <laughs> so, do you, do you find that, um, you know, whether Fitbit or Basis or, or whatever, maybe just the quantified soft stuff in general, do you find that it has helped you change your habits to where you are getting your 10,000 steps a day um, kind of thing? Yeah, so here, here, so this is my philosophy on it. Um, I think it's given me tools that let me decide how to take what I am good at in other parts of my life and translate it and, and track it. Um, so what I mean by that is I don't think that um, it's the sole reason, but it, it's because I'm a little bit of a nerdy guy, a little bit of a techie geeky guy, because I can sort of figure out a way to blend these things together into what motivates me. It's been helpful in that way. Um, being a part of this group has been helpful in that way. Talking to people at work for the last two or three years has been helpful. Joining the MDVIP concierge doctor program and getting deep biomarker has helped in a, in a way. So I, I view it as part of my, uh, right now I can't live without it. I, I wouldn't say that I'm completely dependent on it or it's necessary, but it's certainly a, um, certainly something that I, that, you know, I, I really choose to, to use. Um, and I found that it's, it's like anything else. Um, I, start, I, I, was, I was wearing a Fitbit for the last three years, pretty much, or whenever it came out first, and really rarely was hitting anything. Um, and I haven't bought the, started wearing the bases before I got very serious. And then at some point, something clicked for me to start uh, being more aggressive about managing my overall health. And in the context of doing that, I realized I could use these tools. And oh, now I will create my leaderboard in Fitbit. Now I will start, you know, I'm on the treadmill pretty regularly at 10 at night if I don't have my steps and I'm doing that and I've got to catch up on every girl's episode and you know <laughs> stuff like that right <laughs> with now, HBO Go Productivity Group Chromecast so for me it's all about how you kind of um, how you kind of design your life based on what your interests are to to achieve certain goals and in this case it's working for me around health. I'm gonna I'm gonna credit our kick-ass Tim Ferriss presentation to being that the, the tipping point. And <laughs> that has been a big that's been a big help. It's been a huge help. And uh, so, so it's a big part. Um, it's helped, but I I feel it's um, for me it's been more a way to sustain and track versus sort of the I had these things for a while before I started using them. Right. That, that's what I would say. I still had to sort of make it all work for me. I wonder if that's a pattern, though. or you know, there's got to be some interesting patterns that. Yeah, know. I think it's different for different people. I think some people um, love to join a diet plan. They love to join a diet plan and follow that diet plan, and that's what they're going to do, and that's this whole thing. Um, for example, um, but I think other people, they're 
wired differently, right? They're, they want to do something unique. They want to do a ton of research. They want to do what you're doing, or you know, they're 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 wired differently to make changes. Um, and so I think it's really pretty personal. Um, I think it's about sort of hacking your own psyche, if you will, to understand really what's how you how you can okay. leverage your motivation, your skills, your your, your interest to make things work. That's true, but it's, that's what I believe. Thanks, Jerry. Sure.